What's up, YouTube? Welcome to today's mail day, our post Super Bowl mail day. Congratulations to the Kansas City Chiefs and Big Red Andy Reid, former former coach for the Philadelphia Eagles. Gotta give him a shout out. Really, really happy for him being the coach of the Eagles. Former coach for about 14 years. So he was a uh, coach when I first started watching football. So yeah, it was really nice to see him win. I actually won a little bit of money on it too. So that's that's always nice. But here we have it with uh, a trolley mail day, Troll and Toad. Look how they put, I don't know if I can get it focused, but look how they put the cards in there. They're not even kind of, so they're folded over each other. You could almost see if, it's, if pressure is put down on this top card, you're going to bend it. So I hate how they do that. Just add a couple of top loaders. Okay, and we're back with proper lighting. Sorry, for the start of that video, I uh, did not have my light set up. To start off, we have three cards here, all the same, from Raging Battle, Battle Storm. He kind of looks like a, uh, like he could be like a harpy, right? He's got that same harpy style to him. Our second battle storm, and our third, and they actually they all look pretty different. Let's see if I can put it down here. Ooh, they all look like they have a nice bleed to them too. Really, really cheap cards, but nonetheless, secret rare from Five Ds needed it, had to happen. So these ones aren't in terrible condition either. Um, actually, this one has like a little tiny bend up top this one looks really really bloody Let's see if i can get that in the light it's hard to catch in this light there it is in the bottom of the effect box i'd say that probably this third one is would probably be the best okay and on to our next card we're all sleeved up now king of the beasts Another bloody card. Let's see if we catch it there in the light. Very nice. Love the bleed. Another Raging Battle First Ed. I didn't have many of them, so I guess I haven't opened much. First First Ed Raging Battle. So I had to pick it up. Another one really cheap. There you go. King of the Beasts. Okay. Now, I can't remember. Do we have more Raging Battle? Yes, we do. See, I knew this was a, a raging battle filled opening. Uh, and a mortal ruler. He kind of looks like, uh, I don't know, he could go with like Dark Ruler Hades or something. Not terrible. Have the uh, Super Bowl playing on repeat in the background. Another Raging Battle Secret Rare. Yeah, I'm pretty sure most of them are from Raging Battle. I think there might be one from Ancient Prophecy. So I made a mistake with the playmat. I should have got the Raging Battle playmat out, and I took the Ancient Prophecy one out. Whoops. Sphere of Chaos. There he is. Terribly off-centered. But again, another cheap Secret Rare from a set that I didn't have, going after all of the secret rares from 5Ds. Now, switching it up a little bit, we have a Blowback Dragon first edition. Uh, I have an unlimited one of these guys, so obviously, gotta pick up the first ed. Not too bad, AST. It's not in terrible condition either. But the older stuff, you kind of expect it to be a lot worse, especially when you're buying without any pictures, as you do with uh, with most troll and toad orders. I'm gonna sleeve up the rest here. Whoa, and we're back, look at that. How did that happen? Somehow, the background has changed to the preferred raging battle on cue. Light and dragon, look at that. It's an epic looking synchro. Secret rare. One of the only ones from the 5D sets that I didn't have. Damn, this one looks like really good condition. 
dare I say mint. Wow. A couple little dirt marks, but other than that, this thing looks really nice. Wow. Actually, like, no joke might sub that. I know it's not a big card or anything. It's just when you see a mint card. Now, of course, Light End Dragon's one of those dudes who's been printed God, God knows how many times. Let's see if I can get the bleed on camera. Here it is. A little bleed on the bottom. But, of course... Yeah, would still be nice to have in first edition. So, sorry, in first edition, slabbed PSA 10, of course, just because it's been reprinted, doesn't take anything away from the original. So, our next cards, they kind of go together, so I'll show them off together. We have X Saber Vault and XX Saber Emmer Splayed, and so unfortunate. Notice right off the bat with Emmer, Emmer's Blade, right at the top corner there, you see there's a little bend. It sucks because the rest of the card looks okay. This is really unfortunate. That's what you get when you order from places like Troll and Toad. You have stuff like that happening. Then you have X-Saber Vault, a uh, quick card to go along with it. I don't know what it is, a little cockroach or grasshopper? It's pretty cool, epic looking X... X Saber to go along with the rest. Had to complete the sets. And continuing on with our 5D's Secrets theme. Here we have another. And these are actually local pickup. Uh, it's really dirty down there, just noticed. So there's a Ally of Justice Cyclone Creator. Ah, oh, frick. I actually thought. I took a first ed. I didn't realize this one was unlimited. Okay, so we're off to a poor start. <laughs> I'm gonna have to go and return that because they had the first eds and the unlims in the same uh, in the same pile. Okay, here's a first ed with uh, with some nice bleed too. It is a Dijin Desire Desiree of oh gosh of rituals and this one and again these guys I'm not expecting mint cards. They were in the um, they're kind of in like, just like the common binder. So that's why I picked them up just cause they were really cheap, but yeah, they were out of, out of the sleeve. And once I get them into the good light now, I'm starting to notice a little bit more, a little bit more damage than I uh, had hoped for. So our next card, shield wing. This one's actually not too bad. Again, I noticed some edge wear, but this is a first edition from absolute power force. One of the cards I believe that you say used. Our next. Kwakimiru Bergzak. Another bleedy first edition from The Shining Darkness. That one's in not too bad condition. And our last. Kwakimiru Gulungulate. Gulungulate? I don't know if I said that right. Probably not. Again, not minty, a little waviness to the card. It's not too bad though, this one. And I just picked that guy up because I only had the unlim, so figured why not? So there you have it. Sleeve those guys up later so I won't bore you. But we're not done just yet because we also picked up more Tactical Evolution booster packs, possibly with the ghost misprint. So make sure you subscribe, share the channel, Tell everybody to uh, hit that sub and that bell button for notifications so you don't miss out on that epic opening. Mother Dale May. God damn it, I fucked that one up again. <laughs> Welcome back to another mail day. We're going to just start cracking here because, obviously, I'm not going to be able to talk through this one. I know language good. But here we have one card sent to us from TCG Player, and it is Clear World. Another Stardust Overdrive. Nice packaging, gotta love that. Nice Ultra Pro sleeve I can use for grading or whatever purposes. But 
another Stardust Overdrive card. Uh, this one comes from, again, one of those exclusive sets that I'm going after. Jesus, it's hard to get out. Being it did not have first edition, uh, it did not have a first edition booster box printed, except for, I think, one exclusive. Stardust Overdrive was different. I believe in Europe, Stardust Overdrive first edition booster boxes were printed. So that's a little tidbit of information for you there. But other than that, for us normal Americans, North Americans, we just get them in the sneak peek and tins. And also, another pack, which I just figured out recently, also has them. I'm not gonna spill the beans because I wanna buy them all out first. <laughs> so, there it is. Our first card, Clear World. Doing this on our epic Duelist Genesis sneak, or sorry, Duelist Revolution sneak peek mat. Um, just recently purchased a Duelist Genesis first edition box from Ruxin34. So thank you, Ruxin, for that. We'll be cracking that soon on the channel. But our next card here, uh, that one, I do know it was from TCG Player. This one, I can't remember what it is. Oh, what? I swear I just paid for this. Venominga. No, no, sorry. Venominion. The King of Poisonous Snakes. Pretty epic card. Oh, and look at that beautiful ulti. This one looks like a Euro print. It's terribly off-centered, as you can see. But very nice, nonetheless. Not too bad at all. And I think... I want to say this one was from... So, there it is. Pretty awesome. Venominga. Or, sorry, Venominion. Oh, look at those awesome alti swirls. Very, very cool. Okay, so I'm happy with that. Venominion, the king of poisonous snakes. An amazing ultimate rare from Tactical Evolution. I actually have most of the secret, not most of the secret rares, but I have a lot of the secret rares. As opposed to, I don't have too many of the ultimate rares from Tactical Evolution. So, that being said, we're going to wrap it up here as we sleeve up and don't damage our clear world. There you have it. To wrap it up, Venominion and Clear World, two first edition epic cards from 5Ds and GX. Today on this epic day of the Absolute Power Force sneak peek anniversary release date. We have a box, but in our box, we have our giveaway prize winning contents. Look at that. Look at those babies. And actually the uh, MFC coloring kind of matches the mat here for Absolute Power Force. Look at those absolute beauties. So. I won this giveaway from the Yugi Bro, epic dude. He'll be linked in the description or in the eye, wherever I find room for him. Definitely check him out. Sorry, I'm trying to get this lighting. So there we go. No more glare. Definitely check him out. He is an absolute beauty for being able to give away such an epic prize. I would never dream of giving away such pristine and look at the condition of them too they're in great condition so i'm definitely going to be keeping mine sealed but uh the epic part of this giveaway just want to shout out also just the idea he had to uh tag four friends and it was a five a total of five blister packs each of you win one so pretty epic me myself uh ruxin 34 416 rare cards sassy auto and sleeping with the cards all won one so that is uh it's just an epic concept to be able to uh, kind of share with your buddies. So with that being said, we're gonna wrap it up here. Uh, I'm not gonna be opening mine anytime soon, but I don't know, maybe maybe the other guys will. So we are gonna wrap it up here. Hope you all enjoyed. Thanks again, Yugi Bro, for the epic giveaway. Stay tuned for the next one. Peace.